Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coach on back order, and we're here in episode number 17 of our Pokemon Blue playthrough. Now, in the last episode, we checked out Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town, and we had a pretty decent battle against our rival Adrian, who has a very powerful team, and I wasn't sure we were going to pull through, but we did manage to win. And then we tried to check out more of Pokemon Tower, but we actually couldn't get too far in there because there are mysterious ghosts floating about. And Chirp was too afraid to do anything against it, and they just told us to get out. So that's what we did. We actually have to go to another town and pick up a different item to be able to go back and identify the ghosts to be able to make our way through. So, on that note, we're actually heading towards Celadon City, doing some switch training for the team. We'll see Pikachu here, he's taking a little bit of a nap. Our team recap begins with our level 21 Pikachu. Speed is at 49, so he's almost at 50 on that one. He's got Thunder Shock, Thunder Wave, Flash, and Body Slam. Next we see Critter, the level 26 Butterfree. His special stat is now above 50, which is definitely nice. We've got Confusion with 1 PP left. He's also got Tackle, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. Next here we have Squeak, the Eradicate at level 26. Look at the speed of 64. Attack 55. This guy is fast and he hits pretty hard. He's got Hyper Fang, Quick Attack, Tackle, and Tail Whip. Next is our level 26 Pidgeotto. He's got a speed of 51 as well. So him and... was it Pikachu? No, Pikachu's a 49, I think. And he's got Quick Attack, Gust, Sand Attack, and Whirlwind. Down here we have Rocky, the level 26 Sand Slash, with a massive attack stat and massive defense. Speed is okay and special. Well, whatever. He's got Dig, Slash, Cut, and Sand Attack. And last but not least, we have Shelbert, our starter Squirtle, at level 27. He's got Bubble Beam, Water Gun, Bite, and Tail Whip. So at the end of the last episode, I actually didn't want to head back to Lavender Town to heal up because we're almost at Celadon City. So I was going to use a quick awakening to get Pikachu up and ready to go. And we got one more trainer to take on before heading through the underground path to head towards Celadon. So let's deal with this trainer right now. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your chem? Uh, I haven't tested it lately, but I'm sure it's fine. So this super nerd is coming at us with a team of four, and he's leading off with a Voltorb. Level 20. Pikachu out-levels it. Let's, tr let's go for this. I'll go Body Slam. If I need to, I can heal Pikachu up. And we actually paralyze Voltorb. Yes, Electric types could be paralyzed back in Gen 1. Actually, Generation 1 through 5. And we get two turns of full paralysis. Excellent stuff. Pikachu drops the Voltorb all by himself. And he gains a level off of that, too. It's level 22. Speed is now matched up with Chirp. Alright, Coughing is in next. So I think our best bet... I'm going to try for the Paralysis once again. I'm going to go Body Slam. Now they go... Actually, they missed the Smog. So let's go with a Stab Thunder Shock, see what this can do. And about the same amount of damage, but actually be paralyzed with the Thunder Shock. Alright, going for the Tackle Attack. We can handle another one of those. And even though Smog is Stab, I'm pretty sure Smog has half the uh, base power of Tackle. So this shouldn't knock out Pikachu, unless it's critical. Nope, and he will survive another one of those, so I'm going to go for a Thunder Shock. If I take one more hit, though, I can just go Super Potion. And that was pretty powerful, but thankfully, Pikachu does survive that. We're gonna get him back up to full health. Pikachu is tackling this Super Nerd's team all on his own. As long as I don't get poisoned. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, Thundershock has more PP, so this will get the KO. Alright, two down, two left to go. Let's do this, Pikachu. Another Voltorb. Of course, we're going to go Body Slams on this. This is good training. Look, another Paralysis. Pikachu is a paralyzing maniac. But this is good training to prepare for the next gym, which we will tackle once we do hit Celadon City, after checking out the sights for a little bit. So, Voltorb is down, and the last Pokemon is a Magnemite. Again, Electric-type, and thanks to not being Steel just yet, Body Slam will be neutral against you. Now, we don't Paralyze this time. I think our Paralysis luck kind of wore off eventually. Or maybe not. We actually paralyze Magnemite with that one. Full paralysis. Body slam. Drops the Magnemite. Excellent. Okay. Ow! Meltdown! 500 for that, and... I am better at school than this. I would kinda hope so. No offense, but... Alright, the department store in Celadon has a great selection. So this is the underground path that connects to Celadon City. And, much like the other underground path, I think you can find hidden items in here. So I'm just going to mash the A button as I walk, see if I can happen to pick up anything, such as a PP restoring item, maybe another type of Pokeball, some sort of X item, like X speed or X special, or anything that can help us in battles, because definitely whatever you can pick up is good, but nope, nothing. Alright then. 
I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Celadon. Do you mean Vermilion City? Because that's where Snorlax appeared at. Underground path. Celadon City to Lavender Town. Alright, so this is the last of the four guard posts outside Saffron City. This guard will say the exact same thing. Uh, the road's closed. He's very thirsty. We are going to be able to deal with all of those thirsty guards before too long. So here is where we're going to do our grinding montage to take on Celadon Gym, but just for the time being, just because we can, I love this. Just cut the grass away. Wouldn't be something if an item popped up. Anyway, with that, we're going to head off to the west as we step into Celadon City. We've made it. And that looks like Team Rocket. What do you have to say for yourself? Keep out of Team Rocket's way. It is Team Rocket. They're here in the big city as well. Before we get into any Team Rocket shenanigans, we're going to heal up in the Pokemon Center. And we're probably going to spend this episode just checking everything out in town, because there's a lot of stuff here in Celadon City. As you'll see, they have the giant department store where you can pick up a lot of good items. They have the game corner. If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. Well, I've got a bike. Where is this Cycling Road? Poke Flute awakens Pokemon with a sound that only they can hear. I rode uphill on Cycling Road from Fuchsia. Excellent, you must have legs like Chun-Li. Alright, we're going to actually deposit some items because we're going to pick up some new things at the department store. So I want to free up some space in the bag. First, we don't need the TM-30 for the time being. We'll put that away. And what else can we store? The, probably the Max Potion and the PP Restoring items like the Ethers. We won't need them for the time being. I like to save those for when you're taking on the Pokemon League at the end of the game. So, I don't need them anytime soon. I can always just heal at a Pokemon Center for PP restoration. And I think I'm not actually fishing for anything right now, so I'm going to put the old rod away as well. So that's all we're going to deposit. We now have space in our bag to pick up some new items once we hit Celadon Department Store. But it's at the far end of town, and there's a little bit more to check out. This is my trusted pal, Poliwrath. It evolved from Poliwhirl when I used Waterstone. Ribby Ribbit. Heh, <laughs> cute. I like how the game gives you some clues within the game, too, to let you know certain evolutions and stuff. Celadon Mansion. Alright, what's in this big place? Celadon Mansion Manager Suite. Alright, let's pop on in and see all these Pokémon. Clefairy says Pippi Pippi. And you, Nidoran says Kya Kyu. And this Pokémon says, My dear Pokémon, keep me company. Meowth even brings home money. Oh good, Payday, can you throw some my way, Meowth? Meow. Meowth said its name! It's the first Pokemon to ever do that! What is this? It's a sculpture of Diglett. Alrighty. So we see this is a Pokemon fan here in the manager suite. What is up this way? Game Freak meeting room. Game Freak? You're the guys that made this game! Where are you? Well, they're not in here, but can we check out some secrets in the game? Do you have anything about Sun and Moon in here? Oh! It's actually a PC. You can actually, okay, access stuff. You know, we haven't talked to Oak in a while. Let's get our Pokedex rated. Yes, I'll get it rated. Completion is 66 Pokemon seen, 11 Pokemon owned. Oak's rating. You're on the right track. Get a Flash HM from my aid. We've already done that. We already made it through Rock Tunnel. We don't need the Flash HM anymore. Pikachu has that move. All right, so that's kind of cool. You can actually access your computer there. And I guess it makes sense because Game Freak is the programmer of or the programmers of the game. Game Freak Development Room. <gasps> this is where they're actually developing this game as we're playing it. This is some Spaceball stuff going on. I wrote the story. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina. I like her. Oh, yeah? What about Lieutenant Surge? I think he's kind of nice. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. <laughs> Yay! It's because of you I exist. All right, what do you say? Me? I'm the programmer. Oh, that's all you have to say. Okay. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't quit. When you finish, come tell me. Yes, I've kind of ashamed to admit this, but even though I am a Pokemon professor, I've never completed the Pokedex in any game. And the reason is, I don't go out just catching every single thing that I can find. I actually prefer to catch Pokemon and make them into a decent battling team and kind of focus my attention on making them the best that they can. So, I remember back when I first was playing this game, um, I didn't want to just catch Pokemon just for the sake of filling the Pokedex because I felt like they deserve their chance to shine, right? And if I just catch a Pokemon and store it in the PC, that wasn't very, very nice, you know? So, I don't know. I guess it's probably 
just a different way to play the game. Other people like to collect. I don't know if there's a hidden item here or not. I'm just gonna check around, see if there happens to be anything at all. And it does not look like there is... I just wasted everybody's time. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're gonna go into the back of the mansion, because if you saw, there was actually a door right here. And it connects to all these stairs. It's gonna lead up to a little, sort of a secret room, which we saw at the top on the roof. Right here. This is... I know everything. Okay. That's intimidating in a little bit. It's a pamphlet on TMs. Dot dot dot. There are 50 TMs in all. There are also 5 HMs that can be used repeatedly. Silphco. Yeah, it's neat how, back in the day, HMs could be multi-use, but the TMs actually were one-time use only, but then they updated that in Gen 5. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. He is the fourth wall breaker extraordinaire. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. Well, eventually I will be doing some stuff like that. Trainer tips. Using a Game Link cable. Which heading do you want to read? I would like to read the stop reading, because we actually don't need any information on that. Now, this here, for anyone that doesn't know, is an Eevee. If you click this Pokeball, you will get an Eevee added to your team. Since I have a full team of six, it would actually go into my PC. But much as I was just saying, I don't like getting Pokemon just to store away, so I'm going to leave the Eevee, at least for the time being. And it is like this gentleman's only friend, so I don't want to take that away from him if I'm not going to be using it. So for the time being, at least, we're going to leave Eevee there in the Pokemon Mansion, or Celadon Mansion. And we're going to venture on our way to continue checking out the rest of Celadon City. Heading out the door. Alright, so is there anything back here? I don't think so. I think this leads to a dead end. We're in behind the department store right now. Yeah, dead end here. Any items here, perhaps? I really doubt it. I just want to be a little bit thorough, I'll just check all the way here. Eh, I don't think so. Yeah, give up. Alright. So, nothing back here. But that is a quick way to add an Eevee, and actually, in this town, in Celadon Department Store, you can buy the three evolution stones that evolve Eevee into Jolteon, Vaporeon, or Flareon. So I think that is actually the next place we're going to get to down this road. The Department Store itself. There it is. It still says Mart, but it is the giant Pokemon Celadon Department Store. I got my coughing in Cinnabar. It's nice, but it breathes poison when it's angry. It breathes poison when it is breathing, doesn't it? Alright, here we are. This is the big place. This is an elevator. Thank you, sign. Hello, welcome to Celadon Department Store. The board on the right describes the store layout. And this is back before they had anything like the Pokemon Lottery where your ID number could get your special items. First floor service counter, trainer's market, TV game shop, wise man gifts, drugstore, rooftop store, vending machines. Oh, they got pay phones. Cool, I'm gonna call somebody. Ah, oh, they don't work. And this is the first floor service counter. Alright, so we're heading on up here to the first of our shopping floors. The top grade items for trainers. Trainers Market. This is your general Pokemon Mart where you get like your potions and things. Super Repel keeps weak Pokemon at bay. Hmm, it's a more powerful Repel. I don't know if it means powerful in the sense that higher level Pokemon are blocked, or if it's just it lasts longer. For long outings, you should buy Revive. You're darn right you should. I picked up a whole bunch back in Lavender Town. Hi there, may I help you? Alright, so we don't want to sell anything, but let's see what you have to purchase. TMs! I forget which ones these are. I'm going to have to look them up, because I don't want to spend my money on TMs I'm not going to use. They don't tell you what they are, either. Because you have to buy it first and then try it out. So, maybe when I get a bunch more money from the gym, I'll come back and buy one of each. But just for now, let me see what you have for regular items for sale. Great Ball, Super Potion, Revive... I think I want to get some more of these items. I'll go six of each of the uh, status healing items. Just make sure we have everything we need before we take on the gym. And actually, if I have money left over after I check out the rest of the department store, I'll probably buy a few TMs just to see what I get. So we get six of each of our healing items. Now eventually we get to the point where we can buy full heals, which takes the place of any of the status healing items. And that's what we're going to drop our money on. But for now, we have access to just these basic items. So should I get more super potions? You know, I probably should. Definitely going to be useful. Let's go with... 8 super potions. Still have over 10,000 left in our pocket. Alright, nothing else. We're going to head up to the next floor. And see what... That's the downstairs. Let's head up to the next floor and see what else Celadon Department Store has to offer for sale. Oh, hi! I finally finished Pokemon! Not done yet? This might be useful. Ooh, TM18, what is this? 
If I remember it, I think it's counter. Yep, counter. Can anyone learn counter? Shelbert can. Now, unfortunately, in this generation, Squeak cannot. Now, if you follow my Wi-Fi battles, you'll know Squeak's strategy is Focus Sash counter. I was hoping to give him counter in this playthrough, but of course, as you just saw there, he cannot learn it. So, for the time being, he's going to have more of a basic kind of uh, moveset. Captured Pokemon are registered with an ID number and OT, the name of the original trainer that caught it. Alright, are these posters anything? Red and blue, both are Pokemon. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't call you wrong. Come on, Graveler. I love Graveler. I collect them. Well, you're in for a shock, kid, because you're trading. Huh? Graveler turned into a different Pokemon. Now, there's another one of those hints. Graveler is a trade-only evolution. All right, my buddy's going to trade me his Kangaskhan for my Graveler. And a lady over here. You can identify Pokemon you got in trades by their ID numbers. And just for the sake of saying we're kind of completionists here, let's take a look. You can see there, Type 1 Electric, and then ID number 05365, Original Trainer Chaz. That's what they're talking about. I'm sure you're all well aware of that, though. It's a Super Nintendo! A puzzle game looks addictive. Pokemon Puzzle League? A fighting game looks tough. <gasps> it's Pokemon Tournament! And this one is a sports game. That'll like that. My father used to play ice hockey on the NES all the time, and that was awesome. Back when the only stats that mattered were, were you thin, normal, or fat? And an RPG. There's no time for that. This is Pokemon time. We've got Pokemon to raise. We've got badges to earn. We've got levels to gain. All right. I'm getting a Poke doll for my girlfriend. Do you sell Poke dolls over here? Maybe you do. Hi there. May I help you? Poke doll. So Fire Stone, Thunder Stone, Water Stone, Leaf Stone. So these are the Stone evolutions, all except for Moon Stone. These are all the stones in the first generation, and Poke doll is here as well. I'm not gonna actually get that now. We have Pikachu on the team. They do sell Thunderstones for 2100. I can buy a Thunderstone and have a Raichu on the team. Guess what? I don't evolve my Pikachu. Nope, he stays a Pikachu for his entire existence. Spoilers, but yeah, I prefer Pikachu over Raichu. I heard something useful. You can run from wild Pokemon by distracting them with a Pokedol. I wonder if that's why the guy is getting a Pokedol for his girlfriend. He probably wants to go out for the weekend and he's going to distract her with the doll. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible. So here we are on... Which floor is this one again? Ah, what's the sign? Drugstore. This is where you get, like, the X items. Pokemon Ability Enhancers can only be bought here. Use Calcium to increase special abilities. Use Carbos to increase speed. Oh wait, these aren't the X items. These are, like, the stat boost items. So, HP up, protein increases attack. This is defense boost. That's for speed, and that's special. But they cost $9,800 each. And, essentially... Those give you the same boosts that, over time, you get by battling wild Pokemon, so I actually don't need to buy any of those. And here you have the X item, X Accuracy, Guard Spec, that prevents, what is it, critical hits, I believe? And I think, no, that blocks your stats from being lowered. Dire Hit increases your critical hit chance. We've got X Attack, Defense, Speed, and Special, those are all pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to use any of those either, but if I pick one up along the way, in like a random item, I might use it. I'm here for Pokemon Ability Enhancers. Protein increases attack power. Iron increases defense. I just told everybody that, but thank you for reiterating to drive the point home. Here we are at the rooftop square. Vending machines. My sister is a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so immature, she drives me nuts. Is that you? I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. So, here's the fun part. Since we still have some money left over, we're going to go to the vending machine. We're going to pick up a fresh water. Fresh water popped out, and we're going to give that to the little girl. Yeah, we'll give her a drink. We'll give her the fresh water. Fresh water! Thank you! You can have this for me! TM13. So this girl gives you a TM if you give her... Ice Beam! That is pretty powerful! It can freeze the target sometimes. It certainly can. In the Wi-Fi battles, my Blastoise got frozen solid. Alright, vending machine. I'm gonna pick up a Soda Pop. Because these actually do some good healing for your Pokémon. Freshwater heals 50, Soda Pop heals 60, and Lemonade will heal 80 HP. But you can also give these to the girl, and she'll give you different TMs for each type of drink. We'll give you the Soda Pop right now. And we get TM48, which, if I remember, I think is Rock Slide. Yes. Rock Slide can sometimes spook the target, which actually means a flinch. Now we also picked up a Lemonade. I think that gives you Tri-Attack TM. Let's find out. 
Thank you. You can have this for me, TM49, which is Tri-Attack. It doesn't even mention anything about what can happen, but I think in this generation, I don't know if it actually could cause special conditions. It might be in Gen 2 that they started doing that. But anyway, we picked up some pretty decent TMs, and here's what we're going to do. First things first, Ice Beam can be learned by Squeak, but we're giving it to Shelbert. He's getting a super effective move to deal with his Grass-type weakness. Yes, we'll delete an older move to make room for Ice Beam. Let's get rid of the Water Gun, since we do have Bubble Beam. There we go. Shelbert now has Ice Beam. And that's not all. We're going to go ahead and use that Rock Slide TM. Give that to a Pokemon. And as you see, the only one capable is Rocky the Sand Slash. Rocky's trying to learn Rock Slide. Yes, we we'll delete an older move, and I don't think we're going to need the Sand Attack. Although, we don't need Slash if we have Cut, and Sand Attack could come in handy. So I'm going to keep Dig, of course. Cut can't be forgotten. We're getting rid of Slash. I'm going to miss the critical hit ratio, but the super effectiveness on some flying and ice types is definitely going to be good now that we have Rock Slide. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to see if anyone can learn Tri-Attack. I don't think any of the team can. No, I didn't think so. So before we leave the rooftop square, I'm going to pick up one more drink. I'm going to grab a fresh water. I'm going to hang on to that for a very particular reason, which you will see eventually. So we're going to head all the way down. In fact, I'm going to take the elevator. You're in my way. I usually never take the elevator, I just walk down the stairs. But just to show what the elevator looks like, I guess, this is it. Nice tiny little room. I'm going to go all the way to the first floor. This looks like a very unstable elevator. Vibrating like an earthquake. Alright, so we are done in Celadon Department Store. I'm not going to pick up any of the TMs that you can purchase. I might come back later when I'm doing some grinding, perhaps, and just see what they have to offer. But we still got a lot more of this city to check out. The game corner is bad for our city's image. Why is that? I heard that increases tourism when you have like some sort of gaming area. Celadon City is the city of rainbow dreams. This gentleman here is an interesting story. Since I'm probably not going to... Well, I'll definitely go get the item, but the only way to get to him, as you can see, is surfing across this water. And he gives you a specific TM that only two Pokemon can learn. The TM teaches Soft Boiled, and the only Pokemon that can learn it are Chansey and Mew itself. The thing is, Chansey doesn't learn Soft Boiled on its own in this generation, which is really weird because it's the only one that can use the TM other than the legendary Mew, so you would think it's a move that kind of goes hand in hand with Chansey, but I guess it's kind of neat in the sense that Soft Boiled can be used outside of battle to heal the rest of your team. So it's interesting that they made it such a rare item to actually gain access to and then to be able to get the rare Pokemon that can use it. Oh, I blew it all, I blew it all at the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Well, you've learned your lesson at least, so next time you go back, you'll know better. Rocket Game Corner. The playground for grown-ups. Rocket Game Corner. Coins exchange for prizes. Prize exchange. Hmm. Trainer tips. Guard spec protects Pokemon against special attacks such as fire and water. Does that mean it blocks super effective? Get your items and sell it in an apartment store. Maybe I don't know what guard spec does then. That makes it sound like you have no weakness. Hmm. Might have to try that sometime, actually. Obviously, I don't know what it does. I sure do fancy that Porygon, but it's hard to win at slots. So this is where you get some items for some coins. I had a major haul today. Coin case is required. Oh, I don't have a coin case yet. So this is actually where you talk to people, and based on how many coins you have, you actually can earn certain rewards and prizes. I'm going to check the game corner in a moment, but I know there's somewhere else you got to go to get the coin case. And it's one of these places down here. Hello, Team Rocket. What are you staring at? <clears throat> That's a nice hat. Alright, so I think this guy gives you the case. Psst, there's a basement under the game corner. Ooh, the rocket game corner. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Yay! You're going straight. Now I can be a washed up gambler myself. Munch. The man at that table lost it all at the slots. It's really kind of sad, you think about it. Like, you go in thinking you can get some money, and then you lose everything you have. It's kind of, yeah, depressing. My Pokemon are weak, so I often have to go to the drugstore. Get back here. I like your hat. Get back here, I like your hat. Hi. We're taking a break now. That's why you're walking away from the counter. I get you. I understand. I've been there myself. All right. Hello, Team Rocket. Chief. 
We just shipped 2,000 Pokemon as slot prizes. Um, you do know I don't look like the person you're talking about, right? <laughs> don't touch the poster at the game corner. Yes, Team Rocket all has the same voice. There's no secret switch behind it. Actually, this guy has a different voice. Listen to this. <laughs> the slot's just real in the dough, big time. I probably won't do that voice again because that's really messed up. So I think that's all we can check out. Now that we have the coin... Ooh, there's a building here. I guess that's not all we can check out. I'm on vacation with my brother and boyfriend. So on in such a pretty city. This is probably the girl who the uh, guy in the department store is talking about. Pokemon? No, this is a hotel for people. We're full up. Alright then. My sis brought me on this vacation. It's interesting this is set up in the same design as the Pokemon Center, though. Like the, the desk here and the way the table, or sorry, the uh, couch is. Why did she bring her brother? Oh, this is the boyfriend. Okay. Now, I didn't know this, actually, but I recently found out that if you look at where the PC would normally be in the Pokemon Center, it's right here. You can actually deposit your Pokemon through a phantom PC in the corner. Isn't that freaky? Especially since we just came from Lavender Town. Ooh, the ghosts have followed us! So, I don't want to deposit my Pokemon at the risk of having them fade away into the uh, afterlife. Is there an item here? There has to be. Give me that PP up. Alright, I can permanently increase the PP of one attack, and it increases it by, I think it's like 20%, so one-fifth of the max PP will be added to it. But I think, other than Rocket Game Corner, there's really nothing else for us to check out in this town just yet. So what I'm going to do is head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and I think I want to go for my next Pokemon League badge. So I'm going to go heal up and make sure my team is trained up and ready to roll, and at the start of the next episode, we'll have a grinding montage as I prepare the team, and then we're going to head on into Celadon Gym. But first, we're getting the heal. Now that Shelbert has Ice Beam, I'm probably still not going to use him, but if I do need to send him in battle, he will at least have a super effective attack against them. Pokemon are fighting fit. Let's save it up. So that ends off this particular episode of the Pokemon Blue playthrough. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the playthrough thus far, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think thus far and what you're looking forward to in the future of this LP. With that, we're going to end off. Thank you for checking out this particular episode of the Pokemon Blue playthrough, and I'll catch you next time.